guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, just want to do a quick review, uh, kind of my initial impressions on this right here. This is a, uh, a Boyd stock from, uh, obviously from Boyd's. Uh, you can go online. I think it's boydstock.com. I'll, I'll probably put the link down in the description box down below. Now, this is for the uh, 30 out 6 Savage Axis that I picked up. And I kind of wanted, to, again, like I said, just do a kind of initial uh, review slash my initial impressions on this and kind of compare it to the original stock and uh, kind of go through with you why I picked it out. Uh, first off, you can take a look at the original stock here, and it's just it's just a fairly inexpensive synthetic stock. You can see down in here, we don't really have much support around the barrel or under the barrel or where, where you're going to have a bipod or anything else. Um, you can actually flex this. Okay, um, I mean it's 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 pretty good for what it is. You've got some some ribs that were put in here that basically give it a little bit of of uh, rigidity and structure, but not not a whole lot. And then of course, you got a hollow butt stock back here. Um, you know, I mean all in all, it's not a bad stock, especially for the price point. But obviously, uh, uh, not ideal for accuracy, especially with your your flex in your front end, especially if you're going to try and do any sort of bench shooting or bipod shooting or anything like that. Um, this does come in contact with the barrel when you put any weight on it. So that's something you want to take into consideration. It just And one of the reasons why I went with something like this. Now, the Boyd stock right off the bat, we can see we've got a lot of good material in here. This is a laminate wood stock. I went ahead and just went with a classic, uh, what they call nutmeg, I guess, in this kind of uh, Monte Carlo style stock. I really like it. Um, I'll tell you, it's, it's a nice solid stock. I mean, it feels great in the hand. It's got really good weight on the front and on the back. Um, you get a nice little, uh, uh, I think this is probably just plastic, but it's a you know nice little trigger guard there. That's another difference here, is the trigger guard on this one actually comes off. I've actually got that over here. Now, the only reason you would want this is, uh, like in particular on this rifle, this has a, an AccuTrigger, which you can adjust by basically popping this off uh, while it's still in the stock and you reach in here with a little allen key and you can actually make adjustments to the trigger you know on the fly you can't do that obviously with this stock but you really shouldn't be adjusting your trigger out in the field anyway i mean you should have it set where you want it to so that's not a big issue um, but it's a very very nice stock uh, one thing i do like is that you can tell in here along these these areas and these ridges they put a little more time into uh, almost trying to make it more like a bedded rifle like it's almost got more of a bedded action than obviously this stock does where uh, basically you've just got straight edges here you've got some little supports here put in place but not really nothing nothing to, to write home about um, this area here is 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 nice and fits pretty good to the action but I will tell you that uh, it fits much nicer and much snugger in here and it just it feels more like the rifle has already been bedded of course it hasn't and if you want a bedded rifle for increased accuracy you would still need to bed this uh, I'm not trying to say this is as good as a bedded rifle but it is very nice and uh, and you can tell a lot of time and attention was put into it so uh, real quick let's just go ahead and jump right ahead I'm gonna go ahead and put the action into the stock and we'll see what it looks like alright guys well there you go all finished up the thing fit like a glove it, it just it slid perfectly into this stock uh, no problems whatsoever um, I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful laminate wood. Um, just, I, I love it. Uh, I'm in love. This, this improved just the looks of this rifle so much. Um, on top of the fact that it, it definitely is going to improve the performance because you've got rigidity up here. Um, this is going to keep, this is not going to flex like the plastic stock will. It doesn't matter if I put this on the edge of a blind, on a bench rest, put a bipod on it. This is not going to flex. The barrel is truly free floated. Uh, this is not going to come in contact with the barrel absolutely amazing i love the way it looks uh, i love the way it went together um and and the, even the magazine when you pop this magazine in you can hear it you can feel it when i used to put the magazine into the old stock it was very squishy and you would actually have to kind of you kind of have to check it to make sure it went in because you couldn't really hear it or feel it snap in snaps in beautifully in this i mean all in all i'm really happy with it i mean i think it made the rifle look gorgeous it's going to add good weight it's going to add good rigidity uh, it's just going to be a better performing rifle now. Um, you can pick these stocks up for 99 bucks. Uh, they make them for everything from Savage to Remington to Mossberg to Marlin to AKs to ARs, everything. Um, and I, I, I think the highest price one I saw was $109, and that's because it was a left-hand model. Other than that, everything else was $99 or less. Um, you can get them for most of the Gaunts. Absolutely beautiful stocks. You can get them in a variety of, of colors and patterns. You can get it in kind of a, a laminated camo pattern. You can get them in black. I went with the original Nutmeg just because I like the original uh, wood color. Absolutely great. I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. You guys can check them out if you're in the market for kind of upgrading your rifle, whether it's just for looks or for performance as well. 
this is definitely something I would recommend, guys. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Questions, comments, all that stuff, leave them down below, and we will talk to you later, guys. Thanks.